a storm in your life, wondering will I make it through? All you have to do is ride out your storm. You've been in the storm. Seems like forever. Nights of confusion have been so long. Your ship has lost anchor. And the storm's got you drifting. Your night's almost over. You can ride out your storm. Ride out your storm. God is there with you. You may. Your morning is coming. Yes, sir. Just hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. Just remember God's promise. Yes, sir. I'll never leave. That's what He said. Though the waters are raging, they'll do you no harm. Thank you, Jesus. Don't give up the battle, for your answer is coming. Just hold on to Jesus. And ride out your storm. Oh, ride out your storm. God is there with you. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You may not feel him. Your morning is coming. Just hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. Your morning is coming. All you have to do, just hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. He's right there with you. He's right there. You can ride out your storm.
He is worthy to be praised. Amen. From the rising of the sun to the going down the same. And I'm here to give tribute to one of my favorite nephews, Marlon Moncrief, a.k.a. Jermaine. You know, Jermaine is an all-rounder. You know, and I was thinking about him over the past four weeks. That man, he, he, he fixed me hand, he fixed me pants, he fixed me phone. And it was just about when I was moving from out of office room to the back room, he was there to help me. He never say no. He was so willing and faithful. If you can't do it in the morning, you're going to do it in the midday. And if you can't do it in the midday, you're going to do it in the night. But he's always available when you need him. Man, sometimes you just pop up at the house and sit on the veranda and play with him for hours, maybe two hours or more. And then he, he, and then he left. And I know that there is somewhat a connection with Jeremy and God. And this may shock some of you, but when Jeremy died and, and, and Rhonda was crying for about a hour, I heard the voice of God said, Jeremy, that means he knows his name, shall receive a fine funeral. And it comforts me that even in death, God is still concerned about you. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Amen. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Amen. And we are thanking God that he is still a good God. Yes. In spite of the mourning, the Bible said in everything that we should give thanks. Yes. And we should bless the Lord of all times. His praise shall continually be in our mouth. For the Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody give the Lord a clap offering. Somebody was giving praise in the house. God is good. Look at the name and say, God is good. Rather than, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. I'm just going to do a verse of this song, two songs, and, and take my seat. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eyes bear on the sparrow. And I know he watches over me. You never see the happy new person. I see because I'm happy. I see because. cares about you. He said, neighbor, Jesus is watching over you. If you miss me, don't upset me.
bad of sinning. I know where I'm going. You need to know where you're going. God bless you.
down here, affectionately known as Jeremy, my sparring partner, my cousin, my friend, my everything. Um, growing up, Jermaine was always quiet. You never heard him say a uh, bad thing, or even if he got angry, you never saw him hungry for a long while, or he kept anybody in his heart. He, he was just like, look, and it's done. That's it. I remember one time, we were arguing, and we were arguing about some silly stuff. And he got mad at me and he said, you the man. And stop, stop, stop. I'm a psycho. And I was like, Jovian, we never know see your stutter. And he said, only when we get hungry. I like, was talking for a while and, and then he just left. Because when he's angry, he prefers to be by himself. He doesn't stay around you to give you bad vibes or to get angry again at you or to say something that is wrong. He always leaves. And he never, never keeps anything up. It's like when you're lighting up a gas fire and just throw the gas and just light it and just go, whoops, and it's done. That's him. He doesn't get hungry, stay angry. He is over everything. And Jeremy, uh, when I came, when I come up on Christmas time to go by Grandma, Jermaine will always be there. If I came to visit any time at all, Jermaine will always be on the veranda, sitting by the table, charging his phone or playing music or just sitting and relaxing. And I am really, really gonna miss him. I'm really gonna miss him. And we will go out by Jeffertown every Christmas, out by Tolsey. We'd walk out there. He said, he would come and say, Sean, you know, but he said, then you may wait for him, and it's four we gone. Two we we'll walk out. We walk home back. If it's late hours and night, it's just a two hour. We now we now leave for one another. And for that, my cousin, my friend, I am truly, truly, truly gonna miss you. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. And I'll take with me the memories that bring back sunshine after the rain. For it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. It's so hard. To say goodbye to yesterday, and I'll take with me the memories that bring that sunshine after the rain. Oh, it's so hard to say.
the Son of God. Good afternoon, brethren and friends. Good afternoon. Family to the Derek family. All of mercy. Uncle Lanny, condolence to you. Condolence to the entire family, the Monty family, and Nancy. I know your heart is hurting this evening. But I pray the strength will continue to pray the strength and that the Lord will undergird you, strengthen you, and that you may continue to flourish in spite of what we are going through. Because we know it's wrong, amen? amen. It's not that we do wrong, but God is faithful. Praise the Lord, children. Um, we'll stand up for it. My best friend, ask me to charge the report for her. And of course, I take honor and pleasure in doing so. Glory to Jesus. Marlon, Jeremy, Candice, Monica. We thought of you, my dear German boy, with love. But that is nothing new. As we thought about you yesterday, days before that, too, is nothing but just love. We think of you in silence, as we often do, contemplating what we could do for you to change your life. According to the scripture, and I quote, many are the plans of the man's heart, but it is the man of it is the plan of God that far the path to them. We often see your name when something is to be done by your grandmother's orders. You were Mr. Dixie. All those memories at Christmas time when I had you doing trades with me. Fixing up the orange for Christmas, and that was your family first. You paint, you fix, garden, pepper lights, and even as you decorated Christmas tree journey. I know you were good at it. You all know journey. Never complain, each of do. Sometimes he decorates the veranda. Oh my God. Doggin, you can remember me calling you to get a message to Germany to follow the grandma to see the idea. To set up Zoom and Facebook. My aunt, oh, how many phones Germany did? Come Your memories make me. Your memories make me stay. With which I will never ever part. Oh my God. Most trees in the yard were planted, or like your name, the breadfruit, the plum, the sour sauce, just to name a few. On said German had a green plum, and anything he planted grew. So we waited for him to plant. Almost everything. Germany was not the type of normal or complaining so easy. He was just an easy going person. His reply to anything was, I said, Well, I'm so you go. So much to my annoyance at times as nothing bothered him. How can I live without you? How can we breathe without you in our life? As nothing is the same, we cannot hide our arguments. When someone speaks your name, it's all about what they mean for you. You did so many things for us. Your art was so kind and true. When we needed something, we could come to on you. Always on time, even 12 o'clock, go look for your grandmother. These special years will not return. When we are all together, you and me get the moon. That's the time we're going to look over. Jeremy, the caregiver, aunt's company, is a confidant. You can't talk anything about him. He never will observe the world. Never object to anything. Always just say, a true man, a true. With 
of you. Phil, you have never been forgotten. You will never be forgotten. We owe you full within our heart, and there you will remain to walk and guide us through our life until you end. Job 14, verse 14 says, My father favored funeral quotation, and I imagine that would have been at him. Favorite, our stalwart, of course. If a man dies, shall he live again? We take comfort in the word of God. Stand now. Verse 14, Job 14, verse 15, stand. That stand because a man that is born of a woman is of a few days and he is no greater. You see, Job 14, verse 16, says that a man that is born of a woman is of a few days and is full of sorrow. And so we know. And now we ask God to teach us to number our age that we may try our hearts unto this God. Of course, the acronym here of saying, J, he is chosen. He was an extraordinary person. He is a reasonable man. His M is particular and his mother. A is amazing and his older. I is an introvert and is industrious. N he is nice. E he is elegant and extraordinary. Are just a few to describe our dear lady. Son, grandson, cousin, friend. And so that's what it means. Sean, I would say, see on the sweet devil, we love you, but Jesus loves you best. And that is coming from Auntie Rutan all the way in the U.S. of A. She also asked me to read Matthew 6, verse 19 to 21. Do not store riches for yourself on earth. We are mocked and dust and workers can break in a seal. Instead, store riches for yourself in heaven. We are mocked and rust cannot destroy. Robert cannot break in a seal. For your heart will always be where your riches are. We honor the word of God by saying, and the same God of God. Journey in, walk good, sleep on. From my family, the Palmer, the Blackboard, the Martin, sleep on, sleep and take the rest. We love you, darling, but you know that Jesus loves you. Who 
I can't talk to you.
To an extent, he was a low key, kind of shy or shy, laid back person who would more or less speak when he was spoken to. In essence, the phrase is, in our Jamaican lingua, Jermaine seemingly was not a fast person, but instead he minded his own business. Jermaine grew up in the community of Top Road, where he spent time with his other relatives. After completing basic and primary education at Midland East School and one in four college respect respectively, he went on to complete his secondary education at the Taki High School. It is important to note that Jeremy enjoyed doing mathematics and even after he had grown up, he would spend a significant amount of his spare time assisting the younger children in his environment with their math or work, as well as exploring different ways to solve mathematical problems for himself. Jeremy attended an art trust institution after completing his high school education in order to further his education in the field of electronics. He enjoyed setting up cars and radios and other electronic devices, as you have heard in the remembrance of all of that. Additionally, stringing sound boxes for clear sounds to echo through them. Talking about sound boxes for clear sound, man German loved music. Music is the universal language of mankind. Where words fail, music speaks. Life is like a beautiful melody. Only the lyrics are messed up, as one writer believes. Jeremy seemed to have believed in the power of music. And certainly it spoke for him as he was a man most times of few words. He was always seen with his device, and of course, you would hear some real hardcore Jamaican what? Only one of them. Holy smell. Sure. Yes. Additionally, at night, he would play gospel songs for the entire night. Memories, memories, memories. Oh, how they did that. Although he did not have any children of his own, Jeremy respected the children of others. He would share things with others when he saw the little. He ensured that he spent a lot of time with his grandmother, Mrs. Oliver Derrick, performing chores for her and keeping her happy. He showed his mother Jacqueline, whom he affectionately called Nan or Nancy, a great deal of affection. As he resided with her, he ensured she had the necessary things to get through each day. Nancy believes Jeremy is still a <laughs> Nancy believes that Jeremy is still a virgin and has always praised him for being a loving, caring, kind, and respectable individual. Jeremy cherished his father and watched out for him in every imaginable way. Today, we pray for your strength, Shari. Since we know that you and your bro shared an unbreakable bond, Jeremy was your go-to, your back, and your best buddy. He cherished you dearly. Jeremy also loved and cared for Kidron, despite the fact that he made a lot of trouble. Jeremy, in his early years, attended the main normal Seventh-day Baptist Church and was planning to return to continue giving God his all. But sadly, that did not happen. Jeremy, up to the time of his passing, was, argued, as I said, the most disciplined young man in existence in Top Road. His spirit gave tranquility and contentment. And many others have never heard him spoken 
unpleasant remark about anyone, never cursing a bad word. He worked quietly on his farm with other individuals or wherever he went to accomplish his business. Sometime in May, Jeremy started complaining of tummy aches, and on those care of the doctor summoned R, he bravely sought a physician. Although he did a surgery, a cure was not maintained. Sadly, he passed away on Friday, May 27, 2022. Jeremy needs to mourn father, Marlon Moncrief, mother, Jacqueline Montgomery, grandmother, Olive Garrett, four brothers, three sisters, three nieces, two nephews, aunts, uncles, and a host of other relatives and friends. We know Jeremy cannot hear us. But he will always be in our hearts. He was certainly a gift from God. He was kind, loving, caring, and friendly. Even though God lent him to us for a few short years, he has impacted the lives of men. And so, in short, but memorable dance on earth will surely live on through our memories of him because in our hearts he's still alive. May German soul rest in him.
statement that we shall all write to him. What a joy to be though, if we would all make up our mind to meet him. Amen. And if our big preacher is waiting to share the word God has laid on his heart. Yes. And I do hope that we will find inspiration and we will be led to make that decision so that we can all rise to meet him. I invite you to welcome Deacon Hollywood from the Pentecost Bay Seventh-day Church, Seventh-day Baptist Church, and he's sitting in for our pastor, Pastor Patrick Knight. And I want you to just give him a real welcome. You know what would be nice if you could have said about that?
Kamay sa God, sa kalahat ng Father. At I stand before you as your servant. Lord, I am just an instrument ready to be used by you. For the name of Christ, the Holy Spirit upon me now. And do whatever I say here today would not be in the word of my words. But it's that the Holy Spirit when you speak to the children. Thank you, Lord, the Father, God, for this opportunity. And I humble myself before you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I'm here this afternoon. I will be speaking to you on the topic. Be my guest. And I will be coming to you from the book of Luke. Chapter 14, from verse 15 to 24. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? And we have somebody say about the man who suffered in this life. I want to be around that table. Yes, I want to be around that table. But let me tell you something, as the book says. And when one of them that sat at the meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that can be praised in the kingdom of God. That there he unto him, a certain man made a great supper and did many to come.
coverings, Lord, will be over this family, Lord. Father, it was last week, Lord, that I was praying for men, God. And saying that men are refusing from accepting you, Lord. And they are coming in the casket so that we'll pray over their body. But I pray, oh Lord, for all the family members, Lord, that are not yet saved, Lord. I pray, Lord, that this evening, Lord, that the Spirit of the Most High God will overshadow their life. That they'll just accept you in their life once again. I pray, oh Lord, for both the Father, Lord, I pray you'll strengthen him, Lord. I know that Sherman was a humble man, Lord, but I pray, God, that you'll strengthen him. Remember his mother, Lord. Remember, Lord, that there is a sisters, Lord, and brother. I pray, mighty God, that you'll cover them, mighty God. I pray, oh Lord, that in a time such as this, Lord, that the enemy, Lord, will not take away none of this family, Lord. And I stand under the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel death, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, it's not that this family is rich, Lord. So that they can be able to bury that body all over, Lord. So, Lord, we cancel the spirit of death. Mighty God, we pray for no Lord, that if there's any sick among us, Lord, we call for your healing, Lord. We call for your deliverance, mighty God. As I stand in this church, mighty God, I pray, O Lord, that souls of the accept you. I pray, O Lord Jesus, for every member, Lord, that visit this church, Lord. I pray, God, that you'll them, Lord. I pray, mighty God, for the pastor, Lord. I pray, God, for the moderator, Lord. I pray for every single member, Lord. Have your sweet divine way, mighty God. Have your sweet divine way, mighty God. I pray, God, that you'll cover, mighty God. And this community, Lord. Lord, they used to say that nothing good will not come out of this community. But I turn them not from the pit of hell even now, Lord. I speak joy in this community, Lord. I speak prosperity in this community, mighty God. In the blessed name of Jesus. Hear and answer pious, Lord, as we continue, Lord, to look to you, Father. We bless your holy name tonight, mighty God. We bless your holy name this evening, mighty God. We bless your holy name, Jesus. We bless your holy name, mighty God. You said, well, Lord, when the praise is gone, the blessing come, Lord. We are praising you this evening, Lord, that the angel, mighty God, will pass from this family. You said, what's going to lose on earth, Lord? We lose in heaven, Lord. We lose life for this family, Lord. Mighty God. You said what's the word bound in earth? We bound in heaven. We bound the spirit that is taking out this family, Lord. We speak life, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Mighty God, we bless you. We shower to you, God, in this place, mighty God. We lift you up, Jesus. Comfort this family, O oh Lord. Sweet down in the Holy Ghost. Comfort this family, mighty God. Tears in language, Lord, that does only you alone understand, mighty God. Mighty God. I pray, God, that when they cry, Lord, you'll wipe their tears, O oh. In the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we bless the Lord?
Oh yeah, man. Smiley. Every time you see you, you're smiling. I'm sorry. Hey, can I pour a I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm cold poor. Now you're argumenting me. Take time, man. Take time. When I when I rush you out, sir. Don't take time, man. I suspend the one. Take time, 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 take Yeah, 
Somebody will on Panansi, please. Just look and move on. That's where that I can't see. 
Go on.